close up to you. <laughs> Life for Jay Holmes and his wife Becky is filled with uncertainty. It's always been that way. When I got this heart, it was strange. I could feel something beating in my chest. I could never feel it before. He's recovering inside temporary housing a few feet from Dallas's Baylor Hospital. Doctors want to make sure his new heart takes. A transplant he received days after 29-year-old Brittany Maynard died. She was his brother's stepdaughter. She was young, adventurous, full of life. Nearly one year ago, she was diagnosed with glioblastoma, the most aggressive form of brain cancer. Her diagnosis, a death sentence, and a painful one at that. So on November 1st, surrounded by loved ones, she took a deadly dose of a barbiturate prescribed by a doctor in Oregon and died in her own bed. Sorry. Um, yeah, my heart breaks for her mom. She lost her life. Days later, Holmes learned his could be saved. Doctors were ready to operate. News they waited five months for. Happiness for me. Sadness for her and my brother's family. Holmes has a new heart, but his is still broken. Suicide has now hit his family twice. My grandfather on my dad's side uh, committed suicide five years after my grandmother died. A childhood memory he can't help but bring up when he remembers his niece. For years, he was vehemently opposed to assisted suicide. No, I'm, I'm extremely anti-abortion. Uh, real redneck really is what I'd probably be considered, but. Uh. Brittany made the decision to end her life. You could say he had a change of heart. I have a lot of uh, angst now about the way she entered her life, and I believe that that is right for some people. And the Holmes say they take peace in knowing that she's no longer suffering. Their attention now turns to continuing her legacy.